And here we go. Hi and welcome everyone to the last episode of the Captain Developer Meeting for the year 2021. Um, yeah, let's get started with the latest updates from the Captain Project. First, uh, what happened this week is that we released Captain O.11.4. This was needed, yeah, because the log for J issue and vulnerability hit us as well, but not to a heavy extent, more on a uh, slightly, because we are using a G meter uh, in version, or we used version 5.4.1. And yeah, in there was log for J, which was uh, vulnerable. And we did an upgrade of G meter and then also released Captain 0.4. It's basically really just a bug fix for the Gmeter service. When we go to the release notes, you can see that we did a version bump on Gmeter. And this is what we are now delivering with this version. Actually, we also filed then a security or vulnerability bulletin, which summarizes the incident or the situation. Just go to captain.sh. Um, and in the news section, which is here on the bottom, you find a list of release notes as well as vulnerability bulletins. And the last one um, yeah, is related to the Gmeter issue. And here you find all the details affected are Gmeter versions below 0.11.4 or, or in version 0.11.3 and older. And here are some details about the issue itself, the severity of the incident, and also our recommendation or our way of, of fixing the problem, which is basically doing an upgrade of the Gmeter service to 0.11.4. And here you get a link to the upgrade path and please do so, so that your um, environment is safe and you're not, um, yeah, a target to the G meter, uh, to the J, J log um, issue. That is the first announcement that I have to make. Then um, today, uh, Captain User also informed us that uh, the upgrade did not work. Uh, and the issue was because uh, the user didn't, or because the cube content that the captain context was not set correctly. And therefore I filed a PR on the documentation of the captain upgrade. And what was missing on, on the user's end was the command captain set config cube context check to true. And uh, by setting this or by executing this command, the upgrade then worked as we could uh, uh, justify and test. But this is just in case your captain upgrade command fails or returns the error, uh, your current captain's CLI context doesn't match current cube config. If this pops up, then please uh, execute captain set config uh, yeah, to get your captain upgrade command working. And if this also doesn't work, then there's always the chance that you upgrade your captain manually in the sense that you do an helm upgrade of your captain release and um, this must work uh, anyways. Okay, then um, the third announcement or third topic that I would like to talk about is the situation that we shut down the captain.public.demo cluster. It is, it is on Christmas holidays for a little bit and will come back in 2022. But for for now, um, yeah, we, we shut it down um, in order also to get the Gmeter situation fixed. And um, we want to bring it back when also role-based access control is in place so that we can then restrict um, the, the surface of the public demo cluster so that not everybody can then execute something, just those who are allowed to do. Yeah, uh, so for this cluster, uh, there were multiple issues. Um, and uh, yeah, Log4j was just a final call to action. 
So we currently have it uh, hosted uh, and sponsored by Dynatrace. So we got into conflict with some security policies because of the lack of air button captain. Um, and uh, yeah, while it's not great for captain adoption at all, uh, so we will be working on a new setup, uh, which would be first fully managed as infrastructure is code. Uh, so maybe with some GitOps operators, etc. Let's see. Um, and uh, yeah, it will be fully redundant and it will be a good case study once rolled out. Uh, but yeah, for now, we have to shut down it. I will uh, update tutorials uh, this night. Uh, so, yeah, mm, yeah it's unfortunate, uh, but yeah, we have to bring that down. And next week, I will also spend some time to properly create a GitHub project uh, for this demo so that we actually start building the documentation and configuration as code around the existing setup because now it's semi manual and we see the fact that everyone uh, can actually access it. Uh, through Captain CLI, it's not fun. So it's done at the moment. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Oleg, you also added two points. Um, yeah, I added a point about the uh, Captain User Group we had it on December 21st. So I would like to thank Diego and Mora from Kirotech for presenting and presentation with Krateo Platform Ops. Uh, so the recording is now live. I will update uh, the Meetup page so that uh, there are YouTube links. Currently, you can find them on Twitter. Um, and uh, uh, But yeah, uh, we have it uh, out of the door. And just a reminder, we are still looking for presenters for January 21st. So if somebody wants to join and uh, share their key studies, uh, around captain it doesn't have to be captain itself maybe Dmitry wants to talk about uh, captain and backstage if you had a chance to try it out uh, um, but uh, uh, yeah. yeah so it's something we can uh, uh, take a look and yeah we're looking for speakers i have plan b but uh, yeah uh, on my list um yeah so another important thing is that uh, google summer of code so i Next meeting, uh, January 13th, uh, I propose that we start regular sync ups. Uh, so, currently, we have uh, four potential project ideas uh, listed uh, on, on GitHub issue. I will add a link. Um, so, it's potentially enough to be selected for Google Summer of Code, but we need to coordinate with regards to mentorship, with regards to student guidelines, etc. If you want to participate, um, I will be org admin in the Jenkins project uh, next year anyway. Uh, so Jenkins project is probably a bit too heavy for Captain, uh, but uh, yeah, I can uh, apply some best practices. Uh, so if there are people who want to participate as mentors, uh, then it would be nice. And maybe it's also something we could discuss because yeah, Johannes, you were uh, a mentor for LFX mentorship last year. I also put the uh, Jenkins and Backstage uh, plugin, sorry, Captain and Backstage plugin uh, as potential GSOC idea for the next year. So we can talk about it. Uh, but I think it would be important for us to apply because even if we do not uh, get elected mm -hmm. to GSOC, which is totally possible, it's a very competitive program, we can reuse the same materials to just run LFX mentorship in our own next year. Right. Uh, so we do have potential yep. to run it. Uh, there are people who are interested to, uh, to do some mentorship. Uh, why not? And actually, I know Ankit, who was a, a student uh, last year, because uh, he also applied to Jenkins. Uh, yeah, and actually, yeah, to, uh, due to some reasons, we were unable to run this project, mostly because of our capacity on the mentor side. Um, so yeah, great that Ankit was able to participate in LFX mentorship uh, in Captain. And, yeah. Hopefully, we could do something uh, else. Yeah. That would be great, uh, Oleg, if you can share the, the ideas you already collected. Uh, yeah, it's something I'm it... doing right now. So I put uh, the link. Oh. Uh, oh, sorry, it's a wrong thing because the yeah, control is located elsewhere on this laptop. Okay, done. Uh, so if you go there, there are four ideas listed. But these are not the ideas in the list that we can use for application because there are strict restrictions about Google Summer of Code, how ideas should look like. So the only idea which is, uh, let's say, somewhat aligned with what is needed is Captain plugin for Backstage. 
but I will spend some time over the Christmas break, which you get it for a work for a few days. Uh, so I will probably sort these ideas out, uh, create maybe some newcomer friendly issues, etc., and maybe even some contributing guidelines so that we can actually get it uh, off the ground. Uh, but yeah, my plan is uh, uh, to keep uh, expanding it. Uh, I won't uh, spend so much time to uh, start a side project. Maybe I'll create a JSOC channel, uh, something like that uh, on Slack. But uh, basically, that's it. Uh, so I will see. Cool. Great that you already collected those ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, also a gentle reminder, we have seven days uh, until uh, FOSDEM application deadline for the most of dev rooms. So I will be applying for CICD room with this uh, captain talk. Um, and uh, yeah, I still have no idea what will happen with uh, uh, developer stands, but uh, if there will be developer stand opportunity this year, then I will also submit uh, one for captain. Uh, full disclaimer, uh, if you have ever been to FOSDOM uh, uh, in person, online uh, FOSDOM experience is significantly different. I'm missing the in-person FOSDOM a lot, but still it's uh, something we could try out as additional venue. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's getting dark here. Cool, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Thanks for your updates. Um, brings us to the last point, but before discussing that or announcing that, um, Suraj or Dimitri, um, do you have any thoughts, ideas you want to share with us? So, unfortunately, I'm not a captain user for now. Um, I'm representing one of uh, uh, big groups uh, in at Microsoft, uh, uh, Microsoft Security. So even uh, such a dinosaur like uh, Microsoft started to move uh, towards GitOps, and uh, uh, um, uh, I probably you are less familiar with uh, uh, Microsoft uh, and the Azure tools, but uh, uh, Microsoft uh, has a, a huge offering uh, uh, around. Uh, uh, the built infrastructure, it's called Azure DevOps, uh, that has been uh, uh, more and more connected to different uh, 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 GitOps tools like uh, um, Argo CD, Flux, and uh, uh, even we have uh, our own Microsoft uh, uh, internal open source, what is called uh, Porter, Porter SH. We can take a look if uh, you're interested. So observability is one of the major pain points uh, uh, um, in a, in a, a GitOps uh, infrastructure. And I think uh, a Captain uh, provides uh, um, one of the uh, best abilities to collect uh, event-driven uh, uh, information from different stages of uh, GitOps. Uh, and it really depends uh, how a big organization uh, um, is using uh, uh, such tools like uh, Azure DevOps, uh, Jenkins, and uh, or any other um, well-known tools and uh, as an orchestrator. Um, so, uh, um, a Captain is a, it could be a great addition. Uh, uh, to what we have today. Uh, but uh, integration with multiple uh, uh, tools is painful. That's why we have decided to go with a single uh, uh, um, tool that will provide a uh, necessary level of observability for the system. And this tool will be fully integrated with Azure DevOps and GitHub. Uh, provided by Microsoft, and th th that will be the backstage. So uh, uh, backstage is a, a dashboard for uh, um, for uh, uh, for developers. Developer internal dashboards could be very interesting uh, with the integration to event-driven uh, collector like Captain. 
but it's all ideas what should be uh, glued together and uh, uh, represent a much more uh, complete uh, solution. Um, so they have a huge uh, opportunity to collaborate here, but uh, I, I don't have uh, currently anything concrete uh, uh, to suggest right away, but we can work together and uh, to create a roadmap. Um, and uh, it, it, it could be a huge um, a win for the uh, entire com community, not only Captain community, but the GitOps community with the uh, endless list of, uh, of tools uh, that is part of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, really cool. Uh, first of all, to have you on the call, uh, welcome. And also the ideas that you, you shared right now. Just want to give you an idea, also from from our side, from the captain side, that we actually do have an integration into Azure DevOps, because on the Captain Sandbox um, organization, um, this is where extensions are living that are more in a sandbox mode, but already used also by the community. There is Captain Azure DevOps extension, and we are actively working on that, also to integrate Azure pipelines into Captain, and uh, it's a living integration. We, yeah, working on that one. Also to bring these two worlds together, Azure and uh, Captain. If you have some time, and I, uh, as you are also an expert uh, on that topic, would be also very appreciated if you can uh, take a look here um, to give us your ideas and thoughts on on the extension, on the integration, so that we can also then, um, yeah build uh, integration that really fits both worlds and, and helps merging all together. Uh, it will be great. Uh, I, I will happy uh, to take a look. And uh, um, um, I think uh, I was not aware of uh, uh, this uh, repo. So I will learn it and uh, um, get back. Um, one of the best options would um, uh, what could happen now um, is uh, to get uh, uh, hand, uh, hands from Azure uh, uh, ADO team that will actually work with, uh, with the captain community uh, and uh, uh, to make uh, additional uh, efforts uh, to make it more complete. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I will uh, communicate with, uh, with the ADO team and we'll suggest uh, um, to take a look on this project. Um, and uh, I will try to create a Microsoft uh, community for uh, for that and uh, to get oh. more hands-on uh, developers to extend uh, the system. Really cool, really cool. Uh, thanks. Yeah, please feel free to um, call me into the loop. Uh, because we used to work with the Azure team uh, when they were doing uh, uh, Jenkins integrations, like Azure DevOps Artifact, Storage, and other bits. So uh, I do have some contacts, though I'm not sure who's currently leading uh, this integration effort. Uh, but yeah, if you add me uh, to the loop, I would be also happy to participate. We'll do. So we will create a... Uh, a the community group and we will add you uh, to that group so probably next uh, meeting will be on teams but uh, this is the only drawback what uh, could happen here i can say that uh, we use teams uh, yeah so many of captain uh, developers use teams too well, at least to some extent uh, so yeah uh, if needed, some of us uh, could join uh, this meeting. Uh... Absolutely. I think we also should invite uh, Christian as he's driving the Azure integration that he's also in the loop that we have experts here to talk to. Very nice. Thank you. And uh, welcome uh, to the captain community. Excellent. Okay, then uh, Suraj, do you have any updates from your side? Um, am I audible? 
Yeah, you are. Okay, hang on. Uh, the quality, sound quality won't be that good, but I'm still working on the data rock service actually. And um, I am actually facing uh, uh, some problems with the dev setup I'm using Telepresence uh, version two, uh, wherein it connects to a, a remote cluster. But the problem is I think our distributor is somehow messing up with Telepresence. So I'm just uh, looking into that basically. Okay, okay. Yep, if you need help, um, feel free to reach out via Slack, but I want to let you know that the next, at least the next week, um, the captain team is, is more on, on vacation than uh, online. Uh, so please be uh, patient in case uh, feedback is not available so quickly. Okay. Okay, well, because this brings me to the last point. Uh, yeah, the next two weeks are, um, there are a couple of people on, on vacation and, and not available. And this means that we will also skip the next two meetings and we'll continue um, on January 13th, same time, same uh, link or same channel where we'll, we'll then uh, kick on, kick off the new year and yeah, drive captain into uh into a great year so to say great. and yeah our slack channels remain open uh, so i will be doing one meeting next week to help one of captain users uh, there are other issues with gmeter service so there is suspected bug there and if you experience anything please reach out uh, to the people uh, in uh, captain slack channels some responses may be delayed because yeah, many people will be off I will try tomorrow also for some days. Uh, so let's see how it goes. But yeah, uh, there will be some development happening here and there. Uh, but yeah, generally it will be uh, slow weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then let me just take a look into the chat window. Okay, no questions there. And if there are no further questions or items, no, it's not the case, then um, we'll close the meeting for today and wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And see you next year on January 13th. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Christmas. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.